Have you ever wondered why we have different seasons? Imagine if you will, a child playing with a toy globe and a flashlight. The globe is our earth, and the flashlight is our sun. As the child moves the flashlight around the globe, the light changes, creating different patterns. This is an easy way to understand how our Earth's relationship with the sun results in daily and seasonal changes. Just like the child playing with the globe and the flashlight, our Earth dances with the sun. Sometimes the Earth tilts towards the sun and we get more light and warmth, which we call summer. When the Earth tilts away, we receive less light and it gets cooler, leading us into winter. In between, we have spring and autumn, when the Earth is not tilting towards or away from the sun. Isn't it fascinating how our Earth and Sun dance together to create our seasons? Now, imagine the Earth as a spinning top. Just like a top twirls around on the spot, our Earth too twirls on an invisible line called its axis. This twirling dance of the Earth is what we call rotation. Picture two of our friends, let's say, Alice in London and Bob in Sydney. As the Earth spins, Alice wakes up to the sun shining brightly in the sky. It's the start of a brand new day for her. She gets ready for school, packs her lunch, and steps out into the daylight. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away, as Alice is starting her day, Bob in Sydney is saying goodnight to the same sun. He's brushing his teeth, putting on his pajamas, and climbing into bed as the moon peeks out from the sky. Isn't that fascinating? The Earth's rotation makes it possible for Alice and Bob to experience different times of the day at the same time. So, when we're tucked in bed, the other side of the world is just starting their day. But what about the changing seasons? Why does it get hot in the summer and cold in the winter? Well, it all comes down to our wonderful planet Earth and its special dance around the sun. You see, Earth doesn't stand up straight like a soldier at attention. No, it's a bit more laid back, leaning to one side with a tilt of about 23 and a half degrees. This tilt, my friends, is the star of our seasonal show. As Earth pirouettes around the sun in a grand orbit, this tilt means that different parts of our planet get different amounts of sunlight and warmth at different times of the year. When the North Pole tilts towards the sun, it's summer in the northern half of the world. Days are longer, the sun shines brighter and higher in the sky, and it's time for our friends to splash about in the sea and enjoy ice creams under the sun. But while they're having a sunny summer, the South Pole is tilted away from the sun. This means it's winter in the southern half of the world. The days are shorter, the sun hangs low in the sky, and our friends there are bundled up in warm clothes, building snowmen and having snowball fights. Now, think about the times when Earth is in a part of its orbit where neither pole is tilted towards the sun. That's when we get spring and autumn. In spring, flowers bloom, birds sing, and everything comes alive as we shake off the winter chill. And in autumn, leaves change color and fall, creating a beautiful tapestry on the ground as we prepare for the coming winter. And what about the amount of light and heat from the sun? Well, that changes too. During summer, the days are longer, meaning more sunlight and warmth. But in winter, the days are shorter, so it's a bit cooler with less sunlight. So, the Earth's tilt and journey around the sun gives us our lovely seasons. And aren't we glad for it? Without this wonderful dance, we wouldn't have the joy of snowball fights, the beauty of spring flowers, the fun of summer swimming, or the charm of autumn leaves. Have you noticed how animals and plants behave differently in different seasons? Let's take a closer look. As the seasons change, so does the world around us. In the animal kingdom, creatures take on different behaviors to adapt, for example, have you ever wondered why you don't see many birds during winter? That's because many of them migrate or travel to warmer places where food is easier to find. It's a bit like going on a winter holiday. Then, when spring comes around, they return home, just in time to start their families. If you listen carefully, you can hear the welcoming chorus of bird songs celebrating the arrival of spring. Meanwhile, in the world of plants, they too have their own ways of adapting to the seasons. In autumn, trees prepare for winter by shedding their leaves. This is because the leaves would freeze in the winter cold, and the tree doesn't want to waste energy trying to keep them alive. It's like when you tidy up your room to make it neat and manageable. When winter comes, many trees and plants go into a deep sleep, or dormancy, just like when you snuggle under your warm blanket on a cold night. Then, as spring arrives, they wake up again, bursting into life with fresh green leaves and colorful flowers. Now let's not forget about us humans. We adapt to the seasons in our own ways too. In the winter, we bundle up in warm clothes, sip hot chocolate, 
and sometimes even build snowmen. Then, as the weather warms up in spring and summer, we shed our heavy coats, wear hats and sunscreen to protect ourselves from the sun, and enjoy outdoor activities like swimming and picnicking. So, you see every living thing from the smallest insect to the tallest tree and yes, even us humans, has its own way of adapting to the changing seasons. It's a beautiful dance of life that happens all year round and we're all a part of it. So, just like us, animals and plants adapt to the changing seasons too. Remember how we talked about cycles? Seasons are a perfect example of a cycle. Just like a wheel spinning round and round, or a carousel that never stops, the seasons on Earth keep changing in a predictable pattern. In the same way that the wheel returns to the same spot after a full turn, we see the same seasons come back year after year. Let's imagine our year as a giant wheel. As the wheel turns, we journey from the fresh blossoms of spring to the warm sunshine of summer, then to the colorful leaves of autumn, and finally, we reach the chilly snows of winter. And then the wheel turns once again, bringing us back to spring. This beautiful cycle, this repeating pattern, is all because of Earth's special dance with the sun.